uh, in this video uh, we are examining the precordium and on inspection of the precordium let us see what findings are we getting when we define the precordium that is the anterior part of the chest wall which covers the heart that is that part of the anterior chest wall which covers the heart precordium here you can see there are multiple pulsations visible over the precordium and first we will try to concentrate which is the lowermost and most lateral impulse visible over the precordium <coughs> look at this area you see this is the lower most and most lateral visible impulse on the precordium that is the apex impulse so where is the apex impulse here in this case manubrio sternal joint second rib second space third space fourth intercostal space the apex impulse appears to be lying just inside or on the mid clavicular line now let us see are there any other impulses we can see in the second third fourth fifth this area also is having some impulses so in the third fourth space lateral to the sternum there are also impulses these are parasternal pulsations present parasternal pulsations are also present now let us see is there any impulse in the left second intercostal space there are also impulses present in the left second intercostal space so in this case after the precordial impulses let us go down to the abdomen in the epigastric area सांस ले छोड़ और रोक छोड़ छोड़ा थांबा यू कैन सी द पैरास्टनल इम्पल्सेस हैव बिकम प्रोमिनेंट लिटिल बिट आफ्टर ब्रेथ हेल्ड इन एक्सपीरेशन ठीक है एंड हियर वी आर आल्सो सीइंग द एपिगैस्ट्रिक पल्सेशंस so are there any other pulsation extra pericardial pulsations let us go to the neck lambi saans lena jvp appears to be normal there are no other neck pulsations when i conclude the inspection findings this person is having an apex which is localized there are parasternal pulsations and pulsation in the left second intercostal space parasternal pulsation suggests that the right ventricle is dilated or there is a hypertrophy of the right ventricle and impulses in the second intercostal space suggests either it is a pulmonary arterial hypertension number 1 number 2 it can be an idiopathic dilatation of the pulmonary artery number 3 it can be a stenosis of the pulmonary artery with post stenotic dilatation 
नंबर फोर इट कैन बी वॉल्यूम ओवरलोड ऑफ द पलमनरी आर्टरी दैट इज यूजली द लेफ्ट टू राइट शंट्स देर इज इंक्रीज ब्लड फ्लो थ्रू ए नॉर्मल पलमनरी आर्टरी विच इज डांसिंग लाइक दिस विथ एन इम्पल्सिस सो दिज आर द डिफरेंशियल डायग्नोसिस ऑफ इम्पल्सिस इन द लेफ्ट सेकेंड इंटरकॉस्टल स्पेस ना वेन आई पालपेट द एपेक्स there is a tapping apex there is a tapping apex bit tapping apex bit means i am palpating the closure of the av valve that is the mitral valve so the mitral valve is closing and i am palpating that closing snap suggesting that the first heart sound is loud so in this scenario when i interpret this parasternal pulsations i will palpate the parasternal heave like this and i am feeling the parasternal heave so parasternal heave is present that means the right ventricle is dilated or hypertrophied thirdly i will also palpate the second intercostal space like this and i am feeling the closing of the pulmonary valve that is i am palpating the p2 component of second heart sound that means this pulsation is due to pulmonary artery hypertension the earlier differential diagnosis 3 for what i have told we have ruled out majority and we are concentrating on one final possibility after palpation that is i am palpating the p2 component of second heart sound which is known as diastolic shock so the final diagnosis of this pulses in the second intercostal space is pulmonary artery hypertension leading to a palpable loud p2 i am palpating the p2 epigastric pulsation this epigastric pulsation is due to right ventricular dilatation the enlarged right ventricle is presenting itself on the precordium precordium as parasternal heave and the same pulsations are being palpated here as right ventricular pulsation for this i can go for another test in the epigastric area i will put my thumb and slightly the direction should be towards the axilla i am feeling the pulsations are coming from up and beating on the tip of my finger so it is confirmed that these pulsations are coming like this on the tip of my finger it is right ventricular pulsations if the pulsations would have been from the lateral aspect there can be due to a pulsatile liver or on the pulp if there were pulsations on the pulp there could be a possibility of an aortic pulsation but here we confirm that it is a right ventricular pulsation so if i summarize the inspection and palpation finding of this case inspectory findings are confirmed on palpation palpation apex bit is localized and it is tapping type parasternal heave is present diastolic shock is present so probable inspection and palpation diagnosis would be a case of mitral stenosis which has caused which is causing a tapping apex tapping apex which is causing pulmonary artery hypertension leading to right sided heart enlargement right ventricular enlargement parasternal pulsations and epigastric pulsation parasternal pulsations and epigastric pulsation now the last thing i would like to confirm whether i am palpating a diastolic thrill for this i will keep this part of my hand on the apex and i will make the patient left lateral and confirming the simultaneous carotid artery pulsations for timing the systole and diastole and i can palpate a diastolic thrill with this inspection and palpation findings we are discussing a case of mitral stenosis
विथ पलमरी आर्टरी हाइपर टेंशन विथ राइट वेंटिकुलर डायलिटेशन